Day before the race and just laying out my gear so that I have everything for tomorrow. And just a little sneak peek of everything, but we're gonna be wearing a Nike tank. It's gonna be pretty cold, but I'll, I'll bring something warmer just in case. Some shorts, definitely gonna need the massage gun and roller. We have our G1M Sports and Electrolytes for pre-race. Uh, some stuff for to prevent chafing, our gels, little fanny pack, shoes. We are all checked in and settled in the Airbnb in Milwaukee. Right before this, we went out to eat. Had to get a big meal in, um, loaded with carbs, so decided to go to Olive Garden. It was super busy. Um, I didn't end up taking a video. And I am just getting some final stuff situated. If you look here, I pinned up my bib, and then I got my gels situated. I have three in here, and then I'm gonna have one in each pocket here. So a total of five for during the race. Uh, and then right now it's 8.34. So I'm also gonna be going to bed here pretty quickly. But before I do that, I'm gonna do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. So stay tuned. Good morning, it's race day, 4.45. First things first, coffee. We're gonna need to have a bowel movement. So that's step one. And step two is getting some mobility and stretching done. And then we'll go into the pre-race fuel. Step one complete. Now we have quite some time before this race. So I'm going to roll and stretch out a little bit before uh, making my English muffin and pre-race uh, concoctions. English muffin down the hatch. It had some beet juice as well. Next, we're going to do a scoop of G1M Sport. Going to drink this right now, and then I'll probably make another scoop with some electrolytes for right before we head out to the race. We're going to get there early because we know the parking situation is going to be <clears throat> hectic, so... I'm just gonna bring another scoop with some electrolytes to sip on while we wait there for about an hour. It is 6.35 a.m. We are heading to the race. Race time's at eight. But getting there really early because we don't know the parking situation. And if we have to, we can sit in the car for a little bit. But it is high 30s sunny out and a little windy. Five minutes until the race. Just got warmed up. It's pretty chilly. I feel like I want to be the only one in the tank top, but it'll be okay. Feeling good. Three, two, one, both, 
mile five first gel mile 10 second gel 15 gel three go lucas 17 miles in starting to get a little tough but less than 10 miles so let's go Woo! 20 miles in last gel before we finish this thing it's getting very hard <laughs> i just saw you <laughs> 4.2 yes. Go, point two, point two. You got it. Right by the square arch. Woo! Yeah. 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 We made it. In under three and a half. I watched at 325.45, but I'll wait to see what the official time was. Three and a half. Legs feel like crap. <laughs> I kind of hobbled the last three miles, but we reached the goal. My official time for the race was 3.26.38. Watch told me it was a little bit faster, but officially that was my time, but that's okay. The goal was sub 3.30 and we got there. A couple things I took away that I'll definitely use for my next marathon. One thing, I'm going to be doing is increasing my weekly mileage a little bit higher in the peak weeks of the training block. I feel that I was going really good until about mile 22, 23, and that's where the reel started to come off a little bit. Mentally, I was all there. You know, my breathing was good. I didn't feel like I was over exhausting myself, but I just feel like my legs we're kind of we're kind of done by that point. So we started off at about a 7:59 pace, and the goal was to negative split by a couple seconds every single mile, and get closer to 3:20. Um, I I decided to do that just because I wanted a little bit of leeway in case something like this did happen, uh, which it did. So I was following a 3:20 pacing plan the whole race. The last three miles were the main reason that I ended up more in the middle of 3.20 and 3.30. My legs just felt heavy. Um, they were hurting at that point. It just feel like I, mentally I was there and I was ready to go faster, but my legs were just, were just holding me back. I think that's one thing I'm gonna do moving forward. Otherwise, that was my wall. Uh, we still finished under the goal. So it was a great day. Thanks for watching this prep. I have a big race coming and I will announce this later. Thank you.